love the show. I'm being feeling too good. <laughs> oh, that's the way it is. It's uh, about 1.30 in the morning, I figure. All right. Uh, got some things I've got to do. All right. So it's off to a warehouse to get some work done. Yeah, yeah I've been down. I've been down, down and out in Paris and London. Oh, well, I'm not feeling too bad right now, actually. Uh, just my hours all up, all over the show. That's all right. I figured I'll, I'll uh, kick back until I start feeling good enough, and then I'll uh, get going. So, uh, kind of get my appetite back too, so that's good. <laughs> oh, weather's been lovely. <laughs> Not, <laughs> mate. In cold time, I just wanna, just wanna freaking hibernate. <laughs> you know, I just, oh, hibernation time. Yeah, sometimes you just can't. That's all right. I'm gonna head to this 24-hour supermarket, get some coffee into me. Ah, that'd be alright. Uh, so I was um, not feeling too good and I figured, hey, here's a good idea. I'll just watch some more doom and gloom. <laughs> How about that? That'll make me feel better. Canadian prepper. I like his stuff. Uh, some dudes were saying, nah, nah, that's just him. And he wrote the lot and he's just using one of those voice changer things for his latest episode. Actually, the, the episode he put up another one uh, just a few minutes ago. But it's still, regardless, it's still bloody good information about uh, how they store their food and what types of food to keep and all kinds of things like that. But, uh, still shaking. Um, and yeah, uh, interesting stuff. But God, it's some of doom and gloom out there. <laughs> this bloke was saying, uh, um, oh, I forget that story. Next story, uh, they're talking about. Um, a while back they were saying there's going to be uh, he talks about a lot about Europe, a lot about Canada and sort of preparedness and all that sort of stuff right? and he's saying that um, that Macron dude um, you know France and who else? Finland or whoever the fuck I don't know are, um, were definitely not going to station troops in, in Ukraine and what they do now they go yeah yeah we'll put a whole bunch of our guys over here so these guys can go and fight them over here free them up, you know, and they go, oh yeah, great, um, just gonna expand, <laughs> he's, he's goddamn poking the bears, you know, can't we just, uh, can't we just go with peace, you know? and not pieces, you know, can't we just go with just kindness and goodness to your fellow man, even if you Wet, you know, mate. Um, anyways, we spent 50 is the max you're supposed to do on this road, and I'm doing 48. <laughs> anyways, um, more of the poking the bear, and more of this poking the fucking China, and more of this poking Venezuela, or then maybe they eased off on them for a while, and more of this poking Iran, and more of this poking then, 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 then. Alright, you want to poke them? How about you go and fight them? <laughs> I'm not at war with them. Nope. I wouldn't go to war with someone I don't know. Alright? The, the shit that's going on in our world. These filthy people that are controlling it all. Oh, well. So it does feel, a lot of people feel that this is, this issue in Europe is, uh, it's not got to end too soon, you know, so you know, some poor buggers are getting dragged off the street and, you know, you, you go and you know, just force them to go and, uh, even sometimes without a weapon, to go and fight. <laughs> no, they don't. No. The panhandler chief is going around, just going, hey, can you give us some more dough? How many houses have you got now, eh? Hey? Well, give us the, no, 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 that's not true. Mainstream media says, no, 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 that's not true. Oh, a scam. All the grift. Anyways, 
the Canadian prepper there, he, he brings out some awesome information, good footage, and you know, he likes to keep in, sort of keep tabs on what's going on and all that, but you know, then he's got to pay the bills too, right, so he's got to do his grift, you know, the world's going to end tomorrow, and then next, next, next day, world's going to end tomorrow, <laughs> and the next day, and, uh, and then, um, see this bloke racing along in the wet, but, didn't get through the light and I caught up with him, eh? <laughs> now, um, uh, you know, then he's, he's got his products to sell, but he's got some really great stuff, uh, and access to wonderful stuff, and he goes, talks about million dollar bunkers to, to, um, bug out bags and, and, uh, food stuffs that uh, you should keep and just a whole array of things that are really interesting and we show you um, different types of tents and setups and you go go take his family and and uh, go into the mountains or whatever it's probably just down the road but hey you know <laughs> like like um, what was his name something bear yeah the English guy god what was he doing um, SAS guy, something bear, isn't it? Bear, bear grills. That's right. He, he, he put up some. He really did some good stuff too. But sometimes, like people are like, nah, man, he's just gone, and stayed in a hotel, goes out into the forest, and here he is, you know, doing all this survival. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But no, nah, great information and really interesting people. Are they? They do their food rotations and the stuff they keep and and their their groups of people that get together. And so a lot of people think they're just crazies uh, and they're wasting their time because if it really does hit the fan, there won't be nothing left anyway. Oh, um, but I'm like, that shit's fun, man. You know, making stuff, fixing stuff. I need to get back in and do that again. Get up. Feel better. I've just been feeling freaking down, man. Because the world is going to shit. Right? Yeah, I'm going there. I've got a few coins in my pocket, mate. A few coins. The bloke was giving me a bit of an accusation the other day. No, no, no. You, you, you're loaded. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah? I'm running on empty again. God damn it. I have to pay the rent. And I'm going to buy a coffee because my coffee maker's all mouldy. I haven't used it in ages. It all went to mould, didn't it? Oh, I'm going to clean that up and the freaking drain don't work. And <laughs> yeah, but I'm doing fine. Everything's fine. Mother, mother, can you hear me? I'm just calling to say hello. Life is perfect. Never better. <laughs> Got my bug out bag in there, so I better close this up. That bloke's um, gonna give me some more junk. <laughs> I have no idea what this thing is. What is that? What's that sound funny? What's that? Is that? Star Tone, Orphan, Dolphin, Geeky, Nana Dude. Could be one of those. What is this? So maybe it's one of those um, things that dry your futons, but that's not the case at all, is it? A water purifier, maybe? And that could have just zinged off anyway. <laughs> Oops, I didn't know that. Let's check that out again there. Yeah, maybe a water purifier or something. Yeah, that might come in here. Zoji Rashi. So I guess this thing. We'll figure it out. Oh, it's not a great weather. Oh, I'm going to take this stuff off the. Oh. Okay. Now, we'll buy one of those El Cheaper coffees, and then I believe I can afford to have the mini, mini size Sukiya. See if I can get that in my guts.
Right on. I had seven bucks. No, I had eight bucks. Um, right, so I bought the, the four dollar meal and uh, the dollar and two cent coffee that I like, the one I like, so that's good. We're set, we're well set. Get some power food into me. And uh, I've got the Sudaku, meaning the extra soupy. So that's good. Down on that. Someone sneezing or yelling? Investigation time. Did you hear that? Everything seems normal, people just walking around. So I presume he was having a sneezy attack. <laughs> right yeah. I hope the crows didn't take my food. <laughs> they do that. Okay, so let's see now. We've got We've got the takeout, and we've got some soy sauce packets, and some of that yummo stuff, and good. And we've got this Georgia coffee. I reckon we are pretty well set. Yes, let's go. Ah, well, the comment section <clears throat> really cheered me up today. You know, Canadian preppers thing there. And uh, some people were talking about what they would do if the Minuteman came along. And uh, some dudes are saying that, well, it's not the, it's not the nukes you got to worry about that are from silos. It's the ones from the subs. And uh, some dudes were writing, um, you know, um, some dude wrote some like, uh, you know, within ten minutes, New York would be finished. And I say, oh, I wrote something like, um. Do you think they'll be kind enough to new uh, San Francisco and LA and uh, Kensington Avenue and Philadelphia and um, downtown Seattle? Would you? <laughs> um, anyways, um, some blokes are saying, oh, yeah, I'll just I'll just get my pizza and beer, hop up on the on the roof. You see, he's got a patio thing up on the roof there, and so I'll just be watching the show. And some bloke wrote something like, um, you better take your sunglasses. <laughs> all these kind of funny comments and what they would do and lots of dudes say they can't afford their own bunker and by the time you by the time you try to get there you're most likely not going to get there anyways and uh, if you come out of that thing you're just going to get ra radiated and, and uh, I wrote something about you know these blokes are talking about the type of foods that um, they'll be chowing down on and I wrote something like oh all the, all the more crinkle cut salt and vinegar potato chips for me then you know <laughs> no one mentioned any of those so I'm set I even know I looked them up to see what their expiry dates are <laughs> yeah ah. anyways uh, no, there were there were a lot of really funny comments going on there plus there's a serious side of it too you know when people show you People show you these, um, they're setting up, they're getting ready for these parades and they're bringing out these great big mobile ICBM trucks and shit. And so, sort of, you know, everyone's everyone's going all muscle head and, and uh, brandishing their chests. Uh, but many are beating the war drums. Uh, makes you feel like shit. It might be all just a nothing burger. Some people say, oh, nothing burger, that's an old phrase now. <laughs> yeah, it might be just a nothing burger and things will just go on as per usual. But a lot of people feel that the economy is going to fall into shit and, and things. People feel that they've, they've never seen it this bad ever. Yeah. Just how close things are, should I say. To, uh, things that possibly spark it off uh, you, know, but, you know people don't learn mate I mean in these humanistic 
creatures don't learn because like uh, World War One, you know, the war to end all wars and let's see if we can get through this right. World War Two, <laughs> the war to end all the wars is supposed to be fought. I remember reading this book in Australia, I was sitting on my brother's um, bookshelf and um, the title was something like uh, A Thousand and One Battles. You know, and just reading all this stuff about these dudes back centuries ago having a punchy booze, you might be the Greeks having a go at some other dudes and, and uh, more modern stuff or Napoleon era and you know, just. They don't fucking learn, do they? A Thousand and One Battles. You reckon they had a good time? No. <clears throat> yeah. And now they they just keep poking the bear and pushing each other and and um, banging on about banging the beating the drums of war and all this. And I'm like, why don't we just fairly trade, right? Put down our weaponry, you know, pack our bats and balls and go home and stop punching each other. Hey, isn't that so much, just so much cooler and easier and breezier to go through life like that, isn't it? But hey, you are just some stupid nerds. <laughs> ah. Alright, we're on about a different note. Some other stuff I'll be watching. Oh, I'll come up again in bloody winter time. Just want to hibernate, mate. Just want to hibernate. Yeah. Anyways, and what's been happening, you know, I've been checking out obviously a lot of the stuff that goes on on Rumble. But, uh, so I switch between both of them where it's enjoyable to watch a lot of stuff. And, uh, is that a surge? Um, I'm just going a bit too slow for a full gig. Um, and, uh, yeah, here's some sad news. Uh, the old hungry fat chick there, she decides to she's going hard mate going hard she's saying she's not gonna not gonna do uh, now she's starting to talk like she just doesn't care anymore and um, she's saying that her, her legs all puffed up now she's not gonna do a she's not gonna do a um, a weigh in you know and uh, you know, we're about to hit the Ichiban Nagai Shin the longest time to wait in, in all of Japan I could have zipped around there. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, here she is. Like um, I noticed that a lot of people in the comments section, often it's funny stuff. Um, I've sort of one of those that's gone from um, uh, sort of compassionately uh, <clears throat> worried, you know, um, compassionately concerned, and I've gone from one of those, and many others have to have just given up and uh, given up trying to give decent advice hey I'm not captain perfect man or nothing but yeah so many people have just given up trying uh, to just give this advice that she she just doesn't take it doesn't no and she's saying now she just doesn't give a fuck and so <clears throat> every day you know she calls up her door dash people and I swear it's three and a half steps to the door and by the time she gets back, this was this was like a year ago. She's she's exhausted. Right? That's how heavy she is. And she's fucking exhausted, just going three hobbling three steps to the freaking door, and back to her extra extra size couch. But yeah, now she's um. You can see that she says oh, she doesn't even bother reading most of the comments anymore. Because a lot of the comments, I mean, there's a lot of mean people out there, that's true. And I've said some, I've been pissed off a few times, you know, like drunk and just sort of write something mean and then just delete all that shit. But, but it's fucking true, you know. Um, but yeah, you can see just more and more and more people are just pulling out some mean and rude and comedic shit too. And a lot of those comments are funny, but the bottom line is... She's on her last legs here, you know. Um, if she's going to go that hard, um, like she ended up in hospital one time for going real hard. They came and brought the ambulance around to pick her up. And, and uh, this time, like she was on her so-called diet, a diet of eating steak and hamburgers every day. 
banging on the oh it's some keto diet you know just like lions would eat <laughs> uh yeah but lions like go for a bit of a run every now and again mark the territory um granted that i'm like lions i can i can crash for 16 hours a day and sometimes i'll be in bed for two days or my record in the bath is two days so <laughs> uh yeah ain't perfect ain't perfect but um when she decided to finish uh, forego her diet <laughs> diet her dieting but granted she did lose like 20 kilos right but now she's gone back she's gone and she's going hard just every day it's like in um in a uh, she lives in Las Vegas. I am shocked at how many different types of takeout food, most of it's garbage obviously, that there, there is available just in that one city, yeah, the City of Lights or whatever they call it, um, the City of Sin. And just in that one city, like, just about every freaking day, I reckon maybe every day for a year, she could probably have some different product, you know? And, uh, but people, I, I don't know, some people, they, they sort of encourage her and urge her on and you go girl and all oh, your makeup looks great and all oh, your hair looks really nice, you're such a pretty lady and all this shit. I wonder how many of them are fucking evil people that are, are lying to her, you know, lying to the lion. I mean, how, many, how many of those want to encourage her to see her and have a laugh at her? going back to hospital or you know not being able to walk and yeah uh, one time she was saying ages ago that her ankles were all puffing up right. um, yeah you know how many of those people are like how many of them are simply enablers that they're, they're like it's kind of like when you're a teenager and your, your mates you're smoking still and you decide to give up smoking it sort of makes a bit of a scar within your within your friendship sort of thing especially if you're in a relationship like you smoke and she does or she smokes and you don't and you know in off case it just don't work you know and um, it creates those bridges those barriers between you it's sort of like that and so a lot of these people are enablers or they they do it to themselves so they're, they're you know she encourages them like oh, if you can do it I can do it sort of thing become famous of, of, of self-destruction in just doing self-destructive stuff and uh, yeah she's been going real hard lately and uh, then pulling out of what people call the victimhood sort of thing and saying oh you know now yeah, she you know the, she bang on about her PTSD or bang on about her fucking you know we all have bad days nice field of contemplation we all have bad days and shit and sometimes shit's fucked but not every day <laughs> you know well, I force it every single day. She's every day. And uh, off camera, she said she eats all kinds of extra shit, you know, sitting there and talking about what, what does she do? She eats, sleeps, and then watches TV, television, like some shows for morons, like just shit, superhero fucking bullshit or whatever. Just shows for morons who will actually sit there and watch that shit. And then here comes the advertiser. Hey, you could get fucking Papa John's today or something. Oh, oh that's a good idea. <laughs> if she don't change her ways, she's going to end up in hospital again. There's no doubt about it. She's talking about this, her legs all blown up now. You kidding? And banging on about how fucked her hip is. Hey, I'm injured. I'm injured all the fucking time. But you can't, you got to go out sometimes, right? Doing it right now, it's 1.30 in the freaking morning. Maybe even 2. You know, sometimes you got to do something about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the same boat sometimes, I feel like crap. 
things are depressing. I don't get depressed, but the world around me is. But sometimes you got to go, right, oh, let's just find something good to do. Yes. Alright, let's continue on. Nearly at the ranch. <laughs> still raining. Oh, atrocious weather. Yeah, the um, reason why I watch so a lot of people, it's a lot of people just fascinate me. You know, I'm not just into dudes that repair motorcycles or old cars and shit like that. It's a lot of people fascinate me. I noticed though um, that uh, Naomi Wu, um, a Chinese girl, and speak great English and a tech girl and uh, makes all this stuff for herself and all that and she's I, I think she's one of those Lezos though she is uh, so Vice <laughs> I remember when Vice uh, TV was good and then well they got stuck into her and would, um, they just aired what she didn't want them to air and they didn't give a fuck well they're, they're defunct now too aren't they haven't they they've, they've fallen down in a pile of shit I wonder if they're going to get another 20 million dollars, those bastards. Anyways, yeah, I think she's, uh, she said she's going to still post stuff. Or there's some posts there saying, yeah, I'll still post stuff every now and again, but certain content I'll just have to stay away from. And so who knows what the, the catalyst for that was, but yeah, she was really great. She'd teach you how to make stuff, and I didn't agree with a lot of like her breast enlargement surgery is ridiculous having to carry those things around all day and in the way all the time just silly so a lot of things I didn't agree with but um she was just freaking great and, uh, they, uh, it seems like they've uh, decided they're gonna uh, they must they must have had a word to her you know oh, you, you shut up <laughs> she's great alright she's got some girlfriend or the boyfriend girlfriend or something you know those females that dress up like men or whatever it's all very strange mate it's all very strange but maybe I'm not perfect nah this is try better than perfect anyways all right let's put in a few hours here and then get back to the ranch and see if we can hibernate again then I've got to wake up and get some things done again tomorrow Yeah, this is some packing some stuff for them and doing some stuff. And... Oh, this is taking a while. Right, yeah. Anyway, I've come across this interesting looking article here and using this paper for packing materials. That's a real depiction of it, isn't it? The G7, right, and all those buggers there. They're trying to catch Putin and they're calling him an octopus. Now, um, why don't these. Instead of we go to frickin' war all the time, why don't these bastards go? Hey? Macronomy's frickin' mates. Hmm? Yeah. It's an interesting photo there. Oh. I've been waking up that, eh? We've got some interesting pictures sometimes, I don't imagine waking up without that, yeah. An earthquake and it, uh, and your whole entire house goes bonk, <laughs> falls down. Oh, shit, that wouldn't be too good. I've been to a pretty serious earthquake. Oh, I'm telling you, that was freaking something. Every, every uh, all the roof tiles just go and shit, mate. Ran out my undies. That was scary. Ugh, can you do it, eh? Three o'clock in the morning. Nah, uh, shit. It's, uh, working on Japan time, mate. Japan time. I better take an hour and a half just for that one thing. Um, I put a lot of work into this, man. Anyways, it's. I'm not teaming right now. <laughs> it was. Leave that junk on there for to a dry day. <sighs> and on the other hand, I prefer to get it in here. Oh, I had up. Let's get done. Hmm. 
Hmm. On the first assumption, this is like a, a uh, water filtration system. It's bloody heavy. Um, I've been looking it up, but I don't know. Can't you? Can't you? Can't you? Can't you? Can't you? I don't know. I don't think in pictures, but um, it's either that. I did see in English uh, one particular model uh, from this company. It said bread maker. <laughs> I don't bloody know. I thought, shit, it's heavy. Um, it must be full of water, but no, it was. Uh, it wasn't. <laughs> Um, so what do you do? Like put the flour in here? Is it, I don't know. Is it a bread maker? Is it a bloody water filtration system? I don't see the filter, but it does say you open this up and you do some bloody thing with this and then you take that off or some shit. Maybe that's a change of filter or something. Is it a bread maker? Uh, I don't know. Might be useful in the, in the apocalypse, anyways. Okay. Let me put all this back together and uh, two hands. Yeah, two hands. Yeah. yeah, it might be useful in the apocalypse. I don't even know if it works. <laughs> Let's plug her in and find out, shall we? Ooh, plug that in there. Uh, didn't make a sound. Did that make a sound? Hmm. I think we, uh, we might be out of luck on this one. Hang on, let's just start the next one. God damn, can't you fucking pictures? Uh, that didn't do it either. Okay. I would imagine. A sound or a light or something. Uh, this one might be a no go. Might have to be something heavy to give the tunny fella to break apart and, and use the bits of it. Come on, I may do something. Uh, maybe you got It's not doing anything. Yet. Oh, bugger. Drop in. That would at least do something, I would imagine. Well, I think uh, my patience is running out with this thing. <laughs> Maybe you're going to wait a while and put, fill it up first and then... And, uh, Oh, we'll see, I'll keep doing that and I hope that it'll do something different. <laughs> What's the definition of stupid? Maybe all that rain on it for after the days and days. I don't see any electrical components that are exposed. So, you ain't doing nothing. Let's try that again. Beep. Maybe you'll press it for 10 seconds to see if that'll do something. No. I think this, this could be why I have it. <laughs> well, it was chucked in the back of my rig. God damn, I was dicking around with this all this time. Looking it up and... All right. Note to self, check to see if something works first. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Come. Mm. See, this nonsense might actually mean something. I think number one means Pragu, Kanji Kanji, Me, Pragu, Plug, Oh, Kanji Ku. So stick the plug in. Uh, number two, Me. Ka kanji ke kanji kanji ke ni hailu sort of ish te ru. So you might have to stick something in there, or maybe ish, for it to register that something's in there. Oh, I couldn't be bugged with this thing. 
Oh, this that'll have to do for today. <laughs> today, tomorrow, whatever it is. Ugh, start to feel all woozy again. And so, uh, start to overdo it again. I told you I'm not on my game. I'm not, not feeling well. That's happened quite a number of times, I can tell you. Oh. Um, yeah. So I feel like I was going to throw up again. Whoa. But I'll be alright. I know my head. <laughs> After a few days, I'll be back in the game. Get strong again. I was able to at least have a couple of mouthfuls of that food, that delicious stuff, I just don't think I can keep it down. Not right now. Alright, I can come down off that stuff, man. I fucking drink too much, no. It's like a... I've always considered it to be medicine, but it's bad medicine. Bad medicine is what I need. Ugh. I didn't expect to see another rig, one of those concrete driving trucks. So, um, I was like, what the hell is that? Um, when I was back at the ranch over there, no one around, and I saw some lights, and <coughs> it was one of the, um, one of the trucks for, um, the milk truck. Uh, there's a, a dairy up there. So he's working throughout the night. It's a very different lifestyle that they lead. On the night shift. Ooh. Oh, that fence is all nearly nigh on knockdowns so and someone's had a bonky poos or anything. <laughs> I think someone might have been going a little bit too quick. Yeah. A young chap I bet you. Uh, at two o'clock in the morning I bet you. Oh. Well, glad to be getting back to the ranch. That sounds too good, do I? Because <laughs> I ain't too good right now. That's alright. At least sometimes when I get the babble on like this, I get to sort of a bit of focus, really. Anyway, another rig. Transport vehicle. Not me, not many people out at this time, mate. <laughs> uh, it's kind of nice to, to work at night. It's serene and pleasurable. Jeez, I just couldn't get much done. Oh, another rig. There's a big rig. Oh. Yeah, it's not bad to, not bad to work at this time. Might have a scene out of Jewel. Remember that movie? It's a 1970s movie. There's another ring. Yeah, I haven't seen anyone for hours. I actually saw a car crash right here. A truck hit a car going uphill. <laughs> How do you do that? Uh, maybe they lost concentration. Oh, I might lose concentration. Uh, yeah, I was only able to have a few sips of that coffee around there and, and uh, sort of felt a bit like strangely like, really tired but wired at the same time. So that kind of gave me a real ill feeling. Didn't like that. That's alright. I wonder if that electrical unit would fire up if I followed the procedure. Um, it might be a bread maker. Is it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe. Is it a water filtration unit? I don't see where you put the just a standard filter. I wouldn't know how to make bread anyways. Would it come out in those plastic things? That you got me, Mr. Fine. Oh. I'm getting a bit watery. The light that shines.
hands all around me. It touched my heart. Oh, it is my food. There's a magic surround me. Tell me what to do. All alone. Pretty darling. A beautiful song, that one. Fleetwood Mac, you know? it changes often you got to kind of give it a bit of stick and, um, and race through it Oops. Um, but yeah the timing of it changes at the night Ooh! you'll find that at the night time the, the truckies I think they must get away with it at a certain certain in a certain way a certain manner that they um, they drive really fast at night, way over the speed limit. That dude wasn't, but yeah, they go real quick. Racing the lights. Well, I've got nothing to, I've got nothing to inform you of at this very moment. Ooh. So yeah, we just shut up and try to focus. Truckies clearly know the timing of all these lights. And, uh, <clears throat> so, shit, I just keep getting light after light. If I was on my scoot, I'm gonna do well in the summertime. I, uh, if I see the light starting to change, I'll, I'll, I'll pull a right turn. Or a left, quick left turn, and then zip around, and then it's not like I'm doing anything illegal. But, I mean, it's a grey area. <laughs> but yeah, but the truckies, yeah, they definitely know the timing, so they know how fast they need to go in certain sections. Oh, so I've just been caught light after light after light. But at least, uh, at least I'm going slow. <laughs> I'm a bit slow, that's all. Yeah. This weather can make you feel real sleepy too, so yeah, I refuse to turn the, the heater on because that makes you crazy sleepy and that might not be that might not work out too good. I only know that 24 hours, I think. That's for a liter. So people like in the states complain that they're paying so much for fuel. Here you pay way more for fuel. The only thing really that I could say is cheap is um, say things like electricity. That's definitely very cheap. Very cheap. Um, internet access very cheap. Um, yeah, but uh. Yeah, fuel, crazy expensive. If you're on city gas, I presume it's much cheaper uh, that I'm on bottle gas out this way. So, and that's way more expensive. And if you, you sort of pull it off and on, off and on, off and on many a time, it ends up becoming crazy expensive. You know, to ask what the hell's going on here? You know, if you pull it off and on, off and on. Whatever. Um, what else you got? Water, that's crazy cheap. 
it's bloody everywhere, isn't it? But I even go down to the, not all the time, but I go down to the local park and, and fill up this 10 litre jug and that does me quite well. If I had a real cheap source of, if say for instance if I had Thunderbox number 2 at the apartment, I could uh, save on that bottled gas and um, and uh, heat up water, you know, fashion it in such a way to heat up water. I reckon that'd be real cool doom another fucking like doomsday prepper style, eh? Yeah? Do that. Make a barbecue plate or something. Ugh. Four o'clock already and now it's just in the middle of a bean. I kind of feel like getting a few hours of snoozy poos. Yes, I presume it's about bloody four in the morning now. What is it? Oh, it's a uh, caught to four. Anyway. Imagine when this road's busy. That's why paying for the big monstrosity is a bit better. Oh shit. Oh, I am not well. Let's see if we can uh, get back to the ranch. Get that little trooper um, bar heater going. <laughs> That's where that little trooper bar heater. I, um, so I basically sit in it and um, and then I, I take it to the dunny and <laughs> I, I just take it in with me <laughs> oh yeah and, uh, and pick it up and just sort of hold it in front of me and um, it's been a trooper we've had temperatures it was, it was three degrees uh, Celsius obviously um, last night was it um, and uh, the lowest I've seen it I think this year is about minus two so that's a Canadian summer day right <laughs> I think he said that this very day he goes uh, uh, six seven eight degrees I'll be like a Canadian summer day <laughs> a Canadian summer afternoon or something but me uh, I don't know man I don't know how they do it my fingers will just fall off. I, I have no idea how they, they handle the cold. You'd think I'd be able to handle it somewhat. Um, having sort of genetic roots of English and Irish and Scottish. Um, you know, running around Scotland in my tartan or whatever. And, but, um, nah. <laughs> I can't do cold. I just can't do it. Uh, you know, it's something, it's something about cold, man. Uh, oh, some of these far more northern regions. See, um, Fukuoka, this area, Kyushu itself, it's very temperate being away in the west and uh, climate climatic for you wise but um you know going further up north to, or going to a country that's further north I wouldn't last I wouldn't last two minutes <laughs> yeah. some of those places look beautiful but shit I, I wouldn't have so is that one of those milk trucks too Right, we're nearly back at the ranch and I feel like shit. In the worlds before monkey, primal chaos reigned. Heaven sought order, but the phoenix can fly only when its feathers are grown. If I had any learning capabilities, I would have realized why that milk truck or whatever the hell was. Uh, he, he gave it some stick when he took off and so he just got through these lights and uh, once again <laughs> yeah, once again there you go so now I've got this light to get to and then there's another fucking go 
So they they definitely they know the timing of it. That's why he um, yeah he wonder why he gave it some stick. He was by behind another car, but he sort of left it some distance, and then he went oh my shit. And um, once again, it makes a difference, especially when you're feeling as rough as I am right now. Well, there's one good thing about it. There's another light. <laughs> <It's weird. laughs> That's the last light. Yeah. Um, you know, I could choose to go that way or that way and zip around if I want to. Um, you know, at least one thing. One thing's for certain. I might be feeling like crab, I'm feeling real ill, feeling real S-I-C-K, don't like that word, superstitious about it, but when um, I'm sober, which is a fucking miracle, so that's good, just buzzing off my head, it didn't take that much coffee, it's sort of, yeah, I'm sort of buzzing off my head, I only had a little bit, like really, I only had just a little bit buzzing off my head and, and I'm, I'm tired but buzzed so I think what I might do is sort of sit up and, and just upload this nonsense no I'm watching this shit anyways but oh, I like the old tubey thing just showing what you do someone out there must like what I do <laughs> I know we're nearly there Elemental forces caused the egg to hatch. From it then came a stone monkey. The nature of monkey was irrepressible. <laughs>